everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm just going to be doing a quick get ready with me for valentine's day it's just a really quick makeup look that you can do if you have very special valentine's day plans or not if you just want to look cute take a bunch of pictures at home eat a bunch of food you can do this makeup look for that too so if you guys want to see how i did this then just keep on watching okay so i'm just gonna start off with some moisturizer I love Valentine's Day. I've loved it since like I was a kid. Even like back when I didn't have a Valentine, like I just always loved it. As a kid, it would be so much fun like in class when everyone would hand out like their Valentine's Day cards and everything. And then those little um I don't know if anyone remembers, but those little heart-shaped cinnamon candies, those were my favorite. I just I love anything cinnamon. It was so good. Even if you don't have a Valentine's Day this year, like you can be your own Valentine. Use that day as an excuse to pamper yourself, draw on your favorite movie, like get some wine, get some good food, anything. I don't feel like wearing a ton of foundation, so I'm just gonna be putting on a BB cream. So this is a Maybelline Dream BB cream, and I'm sure like everyone knows this. This is like the OG BB cream that everyone used a few years ago. I still use it because I really like it and it's cheap. I'm just gonna take a bit of that, put it on my face. I'm just applying it with my hands. Because Ontario is still on lockdown, like I don't even know if we're gonna be out of lockdown by the time Valentine's Day comes. So, so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing yet. I mean, I hope I have Valentine's Day plans. Wink, wink. So next I'm just adding concealer and I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and this is in the shade Light Beige. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. I have a huge pimple like right under my eyebrow and it hurts. Does anyone else feel like their life is like a Groundhog Day movie? It feels like you're just living the same day over and over again. That's literally like how I've been feeling lately and I hate it. Like I can't wait for this COVID stuff to finally end, which I know like probably won't be for a while, but I'm just, I'm just over it. I feel like I've been living the same day over and over again and it's sad really. Like, I've been trying to keep myself busy. Pretty much all I do is work. So I'm trying to find, like, new hobbies to maybe start. I want to know what you guys have been up to during COVID. Like, let me know. Like, should I start taking up knitting? I'm just blending that all in. All I've really been doing is just, like, catching up on a bunch of shows. I've been watching the show True Blood on HBO. It's a it's an old show like it was like it started in I think like 2009 or something If anyone remembers it like when I first started watching it. I'm like this is so bad Like it's like hot garbage But now I'm obsessed. It's like Twilight all over again. It's about vampires, but it's not like teenage vampires It's like middle-aged vampires It's really good So I'm just gonna set that with some powder my favorite powder the Fenty Beauty one I'm just taking a big powder brush just to brush that away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I actually like tinted them myself the other day, so they are a bit dark. So I have to shade it in too much today. My other favorite thing about Valentine's Day is just all the Valentine's Day treats. Like I love chocolate covered strawberries. I love when companies come out with like their Valentine's Day themed stuff like Starbucks. I know that they have like Valentine's Day drinks or like cake pops or something. I don't know if you guys can hear all the noise. Someone in the house is showering and you could just hear it so clearly. I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm just gonna set my eyebrows with my Benefit Gimme Brow. Then 
This look is so easy to do. You can definitely use this look if you're gonna go see your man or your girl, whatever. I just want this look to turn out to be super glowy. I just love when skin looks so like hydrated and everything. So that's the main goal for this look. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. I'm just taking my NYX Wonder Stick and I'm taking the contour part. Not too much, but I'm just gonna put a little bit down my cheekbones. My jawline under my lips and I'm gonna do my nose too because why not I want my nose to look super skinny I'm blending that in I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer just on top of that and I'm just gonna be using my Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer. So for blush, I'm just using this Milk Cream Stick and it's in the shade Work. And I am going to just put that on my cheeks. And then a little bit across my nose. When you put it like over your nose, it gives you that really cute blushing look. You know, like how you would look if he told you that you're the most beautiful girl on the planet. I always start with curling my lashes first. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's just always what I do. So I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. jelly highlighter. It is in the shade Bubbly. And I'm gonna take a little bit, that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna put it like on my hand first cause it is pretty pigmented. I don't want a whole lot. I'm gonna take a bit and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes. Just on my eyelids. I'm gonna get some in the corner of my eye as well. And then using that same bronzer, I'm just going to take a little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put this just on my crease. I feel like such a makeup guru putting eyeshadow on my crease. I am so far from a beauty guru though, so I only know how to do like simple makeup looks like this. Like literally makeup for dummies. <laughs> now I'm going to take an angled brush and then I'm going to use any black or dark brown eyeshadow. I think I'm going to use black today. And I'm just going to put that like on the outer parts of my eye. It doesn't have to be precise, like it can be smudged a little bit. And then I'm going to put on some mascara. This is just my Milk Kush mascara. So I am going to add a few false individual lashes. I'm using my Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I'm just going to really focus on... I'm only going to put a few just to make my eyes look a little bigger. And I'm going to focus them more on the outer parts of my eye. This part's going to take a while, so I will be right back. The lashes are on and we are almost done. I am going to be a little extra and put some fake freckles. So I'm just taking an angled brush and a dark brown eyeshadow. And then I just go crazy. I'm going to blend that in so it doesn't look super fake. So I'm going to take that same highlighter that we used earlier on the eyes and I'm going to put that on parts of my face. So I'm going to put that on my cheekbones, blend that in, be useless. I just want my skin to look glowy. This is bugging me. 
the face is pretty much done we're just gonna do lips now and because it's valentine's day why not wear red lips so i'm just using the nyx matte lip liner in the shade kitten heels it's just like a darker red i'm gonna use it to align my lips I'm just taking this Clinique lipstick in Cake Pop and I'm just going to put a little bit on top. And that is it. That is my very easy Valentine's Day makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram at theonlyabs. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.